that this guy can come out. You let go so the hatch is not obstructed for the others to come out. Let- oh, no. Yeah, you're floating. Let go. Let go. Let go. And let go. How big is this big can? That's a big can right there. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna have so much fuel. And we're gonna put these all right here. Okay. But we're going to need more than that to lift up this thing. Maybe have this instead. These huge ones. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. This rocket is a thick boy. Oh yeah, it is. Now what if I put a bunch of parachutes on top of all these things? Can I do that? Oh my god, I totally can. I'm half expecting this thing to explode. I'm getting the word out before... <laughs> Preemptively. But I, I just want to know what velocity that this could probably get to. Okay, let's go. That was loud! Well, so far, so good. I mean, it's not really an impressive velocity, which, I, which I'm, I'm a little disappointed about. There he is. He's like, oh my god! I want to get a good view of this guy. <laughs> and the solid fuel is about to disappear. I'm actually pitching a little bit. I have a surprising amount of control of this thing because of all the fins. Unfortunately, the weight is just way too high, even though I have so many solid fuel boosters. God damn. But just you wait. I also just realized I have my staging wrong. Oh god, that was so loud. Okay. Get rid of the first two. The first solid fuel boosters. Oh god, don't crash into the ship. Oh my god. Wow. They're all doing a fancy formation. Get rid of the second solid fuel boosters. But, oh, uh-oh. Right, how come that happened? Let's, let's, let's expand on the spaceship real quick. I really want to see if I can make this thing bigger. Bigger and better and can be more powerful. Bigger, better, more powerful. That also comes with being heavier too. So can you actually get more net thrust by just adding more rocket boosters? What if, hold on, we're going to save this one just so we have it for later. All right, well, this is the biggest thr uh, rocket here. So what if we do something like this? So now we're going to have four of these massive rockets. I guess we're going to be limited with our fuel uh, on the side ones, but that's okay. Hopefully I can hide these well enough or they're not, they're not touching. Okay, and they're going to be attached to uh, decouplers. Okay, so nothing is, no, no boosters are obstructed. And maybe we can get another set of decouplers connected to these solid fuel boosters. So now we have eight solid fuel thrusters. We have four of these huge thrusters. And we can even go as far as adding more solid fuel thrusters to the huge uh, thrusters here. This looked like a rocket. It looks like a cylinder going into space. The game is not expecting this at all. <laughs> Maybe even another fuel tank, because we need to make this thing really, really large. Oh, whoops. Well, oh my God. What? What's that going to do? I mean, I guess there, it's still going to be going up in a symmetrical fashion, but that's really weird that these are so crooked like this. But I'm kind of down. <laughs> It'll add a spin. <laughs> Why not? It's going to be a drill. This thing's going to pierce through the atmosphere. Can I add multiple? Yes. It's like the quintuple headed dragon going up into space. Okay. The biggest crew of all time. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, hold on. Can I go to the astronaut complex? Available. 
We have some available curbins. Oh, applicants. Oh! How nice of you guys to apply. It would be a shame if anything bad happened. Do we have some empty seats? Oh no, we still got some. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Oh, look at that. We got some more applicants. Oh god, we have two extra people. They're the lucky ones. Uh, we need some wings on this thing, though. There's, there's, there's not really much uh, aerodynamics to it. So we have how many Kerbins on here? The whole crew. This is our entire crew going on this flight, and we have no idea how it's going to go. But I'm going to save it. Uh, genocide. USS Genocide. <laughs> Launch. <laughs> oh, Lord. Cover your ears, by the way. Oh my god, will it even be able to, like, withstand the loading? It's so wobbly! <laughs> it's so bad! This thing's gonna explode as soon as it goes up. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, that's not good. Where are half my thr my struts? Okay, we lost our first batch of solid fuel for some reason. I don't know why some are burnt was burning out quicker. Wow, we uh huh. Let's let's stop the burn for now and let's 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 shed some weight. <laughs> Stage two <laughs> decoupling. <laughs> All right, that was a little smoother. Well, we're falling still. Oh my god. Is that a Kerbin? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, still dead. <laughs> this is stable as a rock. SAS. Cover your ears, everybody. Stay stable, please. No, 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 no. Let's just, let's just revert that and pretend like that didn't happen. Is it the fact that we have these massive wings and maybe we don't actually need these massive wings? And it's making the ship a little bit too wide?
Okay. 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 We are still stable. And we've somehow managed to leave the atmosphere on the first stage. <laughs> Let's lose the first set of thrusters. Lose the second set of thrusters. And fins, too. What are the next ones to leave? Okay, uh, we can also lose this set, too. <laughs> Hater said we wouldn't do it. It worked. It worked. We're about to leave Kerbin. <laughs> okay. So that is our first stage. Gone. Oh god, what's going next? What's gonna fire? Oh, wait, no, we're... No, we're good. Okay. Okay, so we ran into a problem. Since this crew hatch was on a particular stage, I, I mean, unless unless I can switch to this rocket, because it's it still thinks that this is this is the main rocket. But there's a whole another rocket that has some staging left to take care of. This is it. We got it. Okay, good. We still actually. Oh no, we lost a lot of our Kerbins, didn't we? We have these guys. These guys, they all need to EVA. I mean, they're all just kind of floating out here. So I'm wondering if I should just, if I should actually attempt to get all of these Kerbins in space, in orbit. So that way it's in a, on a stable trajectory and then try to EVA, EVA them all out that way instead. So I think I want to try one more launch, which means we're probably going to have to get more Kerbins. Now, I wish I could make it go to the sun, but I, I want to have everyone intact here. It was stable last time, so we shouldn't have to worry. Let's sit back. Should give us a lot of time to uh, get everyone out of their um, out of their respective ships. Okay, that is about all we can do. Even though we're not really in orbit, so that means everyone's gonna come crashing down at some point. Which means we gotta be quick about this. So I want to EVA you. Right, this guy can come out. You let go. So the hatch is not obstructed for the others to come out. Let oh no, yeah, you're floating. Let go. Let go. Let go. And let go. Go! Let go! Alright, yeah, you're going, you're going, you're going. You're going. You're going. These guys are just drifting right out. <laughs> this is so bad. I feel bad. I feel so bad. But I just, I'm so amused by it at the same time. They're just all drifting out here. Because they look like they're enjoying it. That's that's the thing about Kerbal Space Program. No matter how crazy it gets, they're always like, "Yeah, this is awesome." This guy is God. Where is the ship? He is just out there. Wow. He like left orbit. Or oh, didn't leave orbit. He's just on. Wow. Oh, there's that ship. Okay. Uh, I I can't wait to. For, for this, because I think I'm going to try and have the rocket boost away, and I just want to leave all the Kerbins floating out here. <laughs> Genocide is a stretch. It's more like just a catastrophe or an unfortunate circumstance. Something like that. I don't know. An unfortunate situation. How's our trajectory looking here? Our trajectory... Are we on the way down right now? Oh, I think, oh, we are on the way down. Oh God, I have to hurry. <laughs> oh God, all hatches are obstructed. All hatches are obstructed. Oh, this one's going. Okay, good. 
Let go. Decouple right now. Or decouple the first ones. Okay, so that will all start spreading out. Okay. And then what's the next ones? These ones will start spreading out. It's like the whole ship is just expanding right now. The big ones will expand. Or actually, no, this is that same issue I had. Or wait. What currently just happened? Yeah, we just have all the boosters just breaking up right now. I just can't tell where I'm at right now. Okay. Oh, that- this time it worked! Okay, then I can just- I can just boost away. <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, well, I'll let that go. You go do your thing and go to the sun. This is what I am concerned with right now. Concerned about. That's the main concern, all of these guys. Here we go. I think I can EVA with one of these guys. As long as I can EVA with one. You know, then I, I can visit everyone else. Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> We're about to reach a steady drop. A nice drop. These guys know what they signed up for. They're doing it for the greater good. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, get a good, like, thumbnail picture or something for YouTube before everyone inevitably just crashes down. Oh god. Is this guy f still falling? This guy's at 22,000. Yeah, this guy is just gone. You see all of this debris out here? It's like an explosion just happened out here. An unfortunate space accident. Here we go. And they'll start entering the atmosphere and they're gonna start crashing down together. And that's where things are going to get interesting. Because that might be like when they start bunching up and stuff too. Alright, 9,000. Oh, that's still at 88,000. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought I was at like 30,000 feet. Here we go. Alright, now entering the atmosphere. Yep, look at them all bunch up together. The air resistance is happening. Oh, God, now there's all the health bars. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, here they go! <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh they're all poop. Wait, is that guy alive? Oh, it's a decoupler. Is anyone alive out there? No, this is it. They straight up Thanos snapped. They all just poofed in midair. Well, that was an experiment. <laughs> so that's that's all that's left. It's a a few decouplers. Well, that's that. Oh, actually, there's lots of debris left. But is there a single Kerbin left? Not really. That's what we got. We just have tons of trash everywhere. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think I'm done for tonight, guys. As you already see that frame rate dropping. Okay, let's go. And then speed this up to millions of miles, time second per second. Timey wimey wiggly wobbly. Boop. What is time? Time is nothing. Oh God, something just got sucked up. Okay.